damn long silent act outros. Woke up Mickey was so quiet. Anyway, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thank you all very much for coming out. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a good week. Stuff. And before I forget, for the fourth day in a row, good afternoon, Veronica. Good afternoon, Gimpy, and hello, everyone. Have a great stream. There we go. Anyway, hello, everyone in chat, Vukuls, Lurkers, other people. Happy Wednesday. <sighs> Your next break is in one hour. Okay, so. <sighs> Wednesday. Stream schedule. Today we're going to uh, take a look at Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. I haven't played this in a little while. Why am I playing it? Because it came out in new DLC last week um, with the, is it the Demons of Corn, right? Yeah, it's DLC for Demons of Corn. That'd be interesting. Again, I haven't played it in a while, so expect a lot of dying, I'm going to guess. But anyway, that's today. Is the seahorse moving? It was earlier because I had to spin it around. Somehow it was facing the wrong direction earlier. And by what, it wasn't really completely the wrong direction. It was kind of like pointed more at the camera. <laughs> so I had to go out there uh, before the stream and fix it. So technically it was moving earlier. Because after you move it, it kind of, you know, keeps moving for a little while. But it stopped moving by the time the stream started. So And Mickey doesn't want to hit it because, you know, he's busy. Oh, and the tongue is out if you can't see it. The tongue is out. That little pink thing covering the, the yellow portion of the rug, or orange portion, whatever, whatever color it's supposed to be. It looks like it's moving. Oh, actually it is, isn't it? It is moving a little bit. <coughs> I forgot the fan out there is, the, the fan in the, the living room is oscillating, so it may, there it is moving. You can see the, the 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 fan again is said it's oscillating it's hitting the curtain against the window which is on the left hand side of the camera and that's why the the, the light and stuff is changing a little bit here and there because the curtain is being moved and it's also the wind the the, the breeze is uh, just enough to move the the, the seahorse just a little bit too hmm. anyway but yes the tongue is out where's rocket uh shit where'd he go he wasn't here I, i'm guessing rocket is going to be out in the living room at the moment probably He's embarrassed to get walking or walking in front of the camera. You know, he's sensitive that way. Anyway, tomorrow, Thursday, probably some more Baldur's Gate 3. Friday is Multiplayer Selasta with Jeff Hobo and Hurricane. Saturday, still up in the air. Don't know what I'm playing yet. It will be streaming, though. Sunday is Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous Day. First half of the stream is campaign stuff with Gimpy the Dwarven Crusader Angel. And the second half of the stream is the Treasure of the Midnight Isles DLC with your group nine. Monday. Uh, Monday, probably getting back to Master Magic. Um, they had new DLC came out uh, on Monday. We played it yesterday. Um, had some fun with that, and probably playing it again on Monday. Go back to Magic Monday type deal. Tuesday, though, Starfield. Starfield is officially releasing on Tuesday. Although early acts, early streams and stuff like that should be starting on Friday, about the first. But uh, I won't be streaming it until Tuesday because you know I'm me. So that and next Wednesday, that depends on how Tuesday goes. So we'll see. Okay, all that. Um, what else? Oh, it's warm again. How warm is it today? Let's see. The internet is telling me it is currently 93 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 35, 34 Celsius, somewhere around there, I'm guessing somewhere in that range it's warm not yesterday was hotter we almost had 100 degrees fahrenheit yesterday i think um, but it, we're, we're going into our cooling trend now everybody laughs when i say it. we're going into our cooling trend our cooling trend is we're not going to hit 100 degrees we're going to be sitting down near 90 <laughs> that's our cooling trend we're dropping 10 degrees most people just don't care it's still too hot so but it's still summer too again southern california specifically san diego summer for us goes into november our summer is like seven months long, it feels like. This one does it actually start. Our summer usually begins hmm, officially, again, June. But I, I would say our summer typically begins in late May and goes through probably the first week of November, depending on, how, on, on the weather for the most part. But historically, I've lived here for... I've lived in the San Diego area since, area since 1977. And where I live now, I've lived since 1985, which is farther in. I used, when we first lived here, we lived closer to the coast. 
And uh, but when I was a teenager, we moved out here to the to the East County area, and I've lived here ever since for about the last oh, you know, since '85, so almost 40 years. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, two more years will be 40 years. Shit, <laughs> I didn't realize it'd been that long. Um, but anyway. Like I said, summer here is a little different than it is on the coast because coast has to deal. The coast has to deal with more what they call the May gray and the June gloom, which is um, the the coastal clouds. Um, they in in May and stuff. They they come they you know they come in and when the sun sets, the coastal clouds run, come in and they go cut, you know they roll in for a couple of miles uh, inland. Usually um, about to where we are typically. I'm about fifteen twenty miles inland and the morning cloud or the the coastal clouds come in and then when the sun comes up they start burning off and where i am they burn off faster because they're not as thick because we're farther in the inland so the may gray and june gloom for us is not that big of a deal um so our summer here starts in may usually mid to late may and that's why when we do the, the ms walks we have to get them done before may because <laughs> that's that or before mid-may otherwise it gets too warm in the morning um and again, that lasts, you know, then, you know, by the time June runs or, or is over, July, August, it's nothing but heat. And um, then September and October roll around, and that's the heat turns from a humid heat to a dry heat. And eventually we get uh, hopefully some moisture in late October when the rain's supposed to start again, but it doesn't always. And again, so summer kind of officially ends for like late October, early November for us. So fun stuff, fun, fun stuff. Oh, uh, no. That's the weather stuff. What else? Uh, oh, Mrs. Gimpy, as you can see, dog cam is up. Mrs. Gimpy's out doing stuff. Uh, when will she be back? I don't know. I think she said she was going to go to... She, she has a swim class that she goes to occasionally. <laughs> she decided she wanted to go today because it's been so warm. Um, so she's going to, she went to her swim class today, and then she's going to do some stuff after that. Um, so when should we be back? I don't know. Probably when Mickey's done with his ear twitching. Speaking of twitching, oh, Rocket freaked us out last night. We were watching. What's it? Important thing is that we have dog. Yes, we have the dog cam. But last night, uh, what was it? Just be just after we finished dinner, we're we're getting ready to settle down and do our you know morning or evening TV stuff, and. Mickey's up on the couch with us. He's sleeping. Rocket's down on the floor, kind of in front of us. Not, not quite in his new spot. He's a little out of it. Um, but he's stretched out on the floor. He's sleeping hard. And he starts dreaming. He, he does his, you know, when they dream, they do the, as they've gotten older, they're twitching and stuff with their ears and their feet, like they're, you know, chasing something in their dreams, has gotten more exaggerated as they've gotten older. Well, last night, Rocket, he starts dreaming. And he's doing the... The, the squeaking and his feet are flopping like he's running and his ears are twitching and you know his whole body's moving and it's like okay that's that's okay normal sort of for him but then it didn't stop it won went on for probably a good minimum minute and mrs gimpy's all is he all right is he having a seizure and rocket has He's had, he has a history of seizures when he was younger. He hasn't had one in a long time. But last night, he's, you know, he's flopping around. It's like, you know, and I'm going, I'm looking, I'm watching him. I'm going, it doesn't really look like a seizure because he's not doing the full, when usually when you have a seizure, your legs go, well, at least when he's had a seizure, it, his legs go st straight and they, 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 they kind of twitch. And he wasn't quite doing that. He was still doing the running in place type deal. But he was, it was going on for a long time. Like I said, at least a minute. And normally it only goes for like maybe 20 to 30 seconds, typically for them. But anyway, so after a minute or so, um, Mrs. Gimpy gets off of the couch because she was on the other side. She was on the, the far side away from him. So she gets up and I, I had to at, at that point too. And I, I touch him, you know, I touch him and he's, he's still, he's still stuffing or he's still, you know, doing his thing. So I shake him a little bit and I, you know, and then he just, go, he wakes up. You know, he just his head pops up and his his eyes are open and his tongue's hanging out, of course, because it's always hanging out when he's sleeping. And he's just looking at us like, "What the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> Why are you waking me up?" And so, turns out it wasn't a seizure. He was just dreaming really, really hard. 
I mean, and usually when they have seizures too, just like people, they will urinate and they will, you know, and then when they, they, when they do get up, they're very disoriented. Um, and he was not disoriented. He was very much focused on why did you wake me up? You know, which is his usual response when he's dreaming and you wake him up, he's kind of gets pissed. And he had that look on his face where it's like he was not happy that he got woken up. So, no, it wasn't really bad, but it was a little worrisome because, like I said, never seen it last that long with him. And he does have a history of seizures, but he hasn't had one in a long time. And when, like I said, when I was watching him, I go, and, you know, we're watching him, ha you know, doing the dream thing. And, and I'm looking at him, I go, I don't think that's a seizure. And, she, and Mrs. Gimpy's all, I think that's a seizure. And I go, I don't think so. It, it doesn't look right for a seizure. And like I said, it, he's fine. <laughs> he's told, he was totally fine. So it wasn't a seizure. He was just having a really intense dream. So it's stressful. Well, it was more stressful for Mrs. Gimpy than me. Because she tends to a little overreact, and I might underreact a little bit in this case. But in all it, but I don't think I underreacted because I was watching. I, you know, I know what he's supposed to look like. He's not the first dog I've seen have seizures, and when they have seizures, their bodies are different than what they are when they're dreaming. Because they're dreaming, you know, you could say, "Oh, that's having a seizure." No, it's not. Is there because usually their feet just flop around and you know that kind of thing, and that's what he was doing. He was just really intense about it, you know, which is unusual. But it's when they have a seizure, their legs tend to go straight out. At least the dogs that I've seen have seizures; their legs go straight out and they kind of shake back and forth. They wiggle; they don't flop around, you know, because like their muscles are just to so tense and, and and stressed that their legs are just straight. And you when you touch them. They don't move. I mean, they, you can feel it in their bodies. Every muscle is just super tight. And last night, um, you know, he's doing the thing. And when I touched him, he was not tight. He was very relieved. He was re very relaxed as he was dreaming. So that's usually a good indication that all he was was dreaming. He wasn't having a seizure. And like I said, he didn't urinate. He wasn't overly drooling. He was, when he did wake up, he was totally focused. He knew exactly what was going on. So, you know. So it was just a, it was an incident and it's not a big deal. So anyway, that was our night last night. <laughs> that was our night, at least the beginning of it. And uh, so anyway, so anyway, there's Mickey. Mickey, the relaxed one. Mickey knows how to sleep. I'm really jealous of him. He gets to sleep all the time. Speaking of sleep, I've been up since four o'clock this morning. As you can see at the bottom the clock, or about the bottom corner, it's two, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been up eight hours already. So it's going to be a long stream. <sighs> okay, enough of that. We should probably get started. What happened? I just woke up. I, it was four o'clock and um, felt a little humid, maybe. I think it was a little humid, and I just woke up, and I couldn't go back to sleep. Hey, Nendo, welcome back. I just couldn't go back to sleep is all. It happens from time to time. It was it four o'clock is. Let's see. We went to bed. I went to bed about nine o'clock last night. Nine, no, nine thirty. I think I fell asleep sometime around nine thirty. So I still got what that is seven hours of sleep roughly. So it's still not horrible. Maybe that's why I woke up because it was. Wait a minute. Is that seven hours? Not quite. It's six, six and a half. So. Maybe I wasn't. I just wasn't that tired. I mean, I haven't been doing a whole lot lately, so I have a lot of excess energy built up. I think um, so. That's why. And like I said, yesterday or today, I got up at four. Yesterday, I was up at like five, and I think the day before that, I was up around five thirty, six o'clock at the latest. So I'm getting it. I've gotten into that that habit of I'm just not burning enough energy during the day, and uh, you know, I gotta take care of that somehow. <laughs> I gotta pet the dogs more or something. Let them sleep on my lap and help me relax. I don't know. Anyway, we should probably get started. Let's sleep. Sleep is overrated. Just ask Mickey. He knows. 